They're well, making so much money off those kids. All of these players that are transferring. Here he goes again, Elijah Bryant, dazzling, dribble, dancing. <laughs> Grinder, we grind, baby. So all this stuff is off limits because of uh, Passover. So they can't eat any um, bread. So all the stuff that has white tape on it contains bread in it, I guess. Let's take one of these. The protein bars have bread in them. These uh, no, these maybe ones. they have bread. Uh, so you can't, you can't, uh... I, I can, I can, you can take it, but if it's important to you, it's not, uh... Pass so Go through, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't care. You want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad to have you guys back. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Elijah Bryant. I currently play basketball in Israel, overseas, Maccabi Tel Aviv best club ever and today we are headed to Serbia to play Red Star fun fact friends Jordan Lloyd I've actually played against him in in high school so we're, we're from the same state but today's video is gonna be about all these players that are transferring and my thoughts on that I have I have some thoughts and I think I have some some room to speak because I transferred so let's get to it Do some exercises here to help uh, you know mobilize, get active again after a game. Uh, let's go.
here, we have just entered Great Airport because the sun is topical, it's passable, I point to a funny park position. You can be requested to remain seated with the super fastened. And it is free Wi Fi. This is probably the biggest hotel we stay in over here. Biggest room, I meant. Yeah, it's the big bed. Come on, let's go. Let's freaking go. <laughs> and we'll cry. Whoa! Wait, what? This is ridiculous. We should do a walkthrough in here. Yeah. Alright, so as you guys know, today I want to talk about transferring and like i said before i feel like i have a right to talk about this because i actually transferred everyone's freaking out about all these players transferring which i get both sides but it's annoying because there's many reasons but the first one is we live in a society where we always think it's greener on the other side when we're watching netflix and while netflix is loading we open our phone to instagram so we're always trying to look for the next best thing or we're not you know just like being in the moment and i'm a big culprit of that i already know we talked about this already about my digital detox or whatever i'm just annoyed all these analysts like oh so many players are transferring so this that this is why All right, so my second reason is players should be able to test the waters every single year with the NBA and with the transfer portal. Why? Because when a college coach has a great tournament run and he goes and interviews for another job and he decides to come back, he's allowed to come back, right? No one's making a big deal about him going to interview for the next best job or a better situation. So how come the players can't? We're talking about players who don't get paid, right? I that all the time. I yeah. think it is one of the craziest scams in in all of money Let, that college sports are may might have their name image and rights all that stuff but we're talking about coaches who are making six figures and the players aren't making anything and you're saying they're the problem i don't i don't think that's that's the problem i think that players should have the right to test the waters transfer portal be able to see what's out there for them as well as the NBA, which are doing a very good job with that. The coach who gets paid can go and test the waters and come back, and he's always looking on the grad transfer market looking for other players. We'll finish this conversation later because I need a shower, and it might seem like I'm kind of salty about it. I just think that the NCAA, they take advantage of the players to say the least. Oh yeah, you can get a year back because Corona. It's for you guys. We're gonna help you guys. No, it's so that we can keep better players in the system and keep our product and our thing. Well, it's a business, I get it, but you gotta pay your workers, G. Like, it doesn't work like that. You can't have workers working and not getting paid, like, and they're producing the products, you know what I mean? Like, And I think that this whole system has to be fundamentally reformed. I'm going to shower, then eat, and we'll get back to this conversation. All right, so now that we got our chamomile tea here. Mm, that's amazing. Let's talk tea. If I'm somewhere at a university and I'm not happy, what's wrong with me transferring? I don't get that. What's the big deal of me transferring? I'm not happy. The coach probably isn't happy with me. Let me transfer. Let me get out of this situation that's not a good situation for me, for my mental health being, right? I have a lot of things to say about the NCAA. Good and bad, but we finally made it to Serbia. We play Red Star tomorrow and I'm gonna sleep. I'm going to, how much does the NCAA tournament make off the 
to March Madness, over a billion dollars. What about the girls who, we're not gonna get to that, about the girls' weight room, that was ridiculous. I got something to show y'all. So for the NCAA March Madness, the biggest tournament in college basketball for women, this is our weight room. Let me show y'all the men's weight room. Now, when pictures of our weight room got released versus the men's, the NCAA came out with a statement saying that it wasn't money, it was space that was a problem. Let me show y'all something else. Here's our practice court, right? And then here's that weight room. And then here's all this extra space. If you aren't upset about this problem, then you're a part of it. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. Honestly, tell me if I'm wrong. If you think I'm wrong, tell me. Like, I transferred so I might have a different opinion, but, and coaches are mad when you come in there like, hey coach, I think I want to transfer, I had a good year and I want to go to the next level. I want to go to a better step or coach, you know. This year didn't work out how I want it to work out. I want to go try it out somewhere else. I understand. Like, you can go find another player. You know what I mean? Like, if someone's not happy and they don't want to be there, why would you want them there? You know, they want to go somewhere else, let them go. They're not going to give you their all, right? We'll finish this conversation tomorrow. Hey, Kai. How your game's been going? Is there any way you can send someone to uh, take a look at the AC to get it lower? Okay, thank you. Hello. I just don't know if I can make it go down more. It only goes to 20.5. Yeah, I, it's That's not normal. possible. That's I can make it uh, to go below 20.5, but then it will go very low. Have a good night. Cheers. Good morning. Today is uh, game day. Obviously, you know, we play Red Star here in Serbia. Just got into my little morning routine. Now we'll get some breakfast, but I slept really good last night and I like it super cold. And let's get this day started. I got one more thing to do for the morning routine. Just wait. Two minutes, and yeah, two minutes. Unfortunately, I didn't hit the three minutes, but with the breathing, you have to understand that don't let your ego get involved, because if that's the case, you might pass out. Like, I feel like sometimes I get to like two minutes and 40 seconds, and I'm like, I can hold for 20 more seconds to hit three minutes, but today, I got 150, and I got two minutes, and you can do it for multiple rounds, but it's not an ego thing. I'm just trying to work on my breathing, my oxygenated breathing, and my lungs flowing, kind of a sort of meditation. Yeah, so shoot around time.
No temperature check here? Is this the locker room? Do we know where we're going? Yes, yes, right and left. And sticks back here. Better shoot than Tim. Oh! There's that only just in the double figures. Bryant, strong finish in the low post there. Loose pass from Bryant, but Dorsey pulls it back in. But he has it stripped. Jordan Lloyd picks his pocket, steals his lunch money, then he has it knocked away at the other end. Gets into the paint, pulls the trigger, misses the jump shot as a fire Kokovic. Here's the high screen from Zizic really use it that's the second time though and he finds Bryant wide open for three that three-point shot his first of the game he's the biggest lead of the night for either side but then Bryant has a chance to answer finally a good pass okay so I got the exact number for how many transfers are in the transfer portal right now 1011 obviously there's probably more by the time you see this video but 25 percent of all college basketball players are currently in the transfer portal so another reason that a lot of people are transferring is there is a change in the transfer rule coming up meaning you won't have to sit out for a year when you decide to transfer and that has been held up due to the nil name and image likeness situation that's going on and then another thing is that the ncaa this year provided that extra year um, due to covid and that allows players to transfer and basically get that year back in the same sense so i don't know like i understand the coach's point of view of like if you allow players to transfer every single year and there be no consequences then they said in the article that's going to turn into the wild wild west well okay you should have to do stuff to want to keep your players there right like make your players feel welcome make them feel like they're valuable to the program that once you sign them that they're going to be there for four years and they're going to work hard for you right that's what the coach needs to do all right so to sum it up the four reasons why players are transferring at us really really high rate this year from the NCAA is number one there's a change in the transfer rule number two the NCAA has an extra gave you an extra year number three your coach leaves and obviously you want to transfer if you don't think the next coach is going to allow you to play your game number four COVID made a bad year worse and what I mean when I say that if you're not playing well let's say uh -huh. at your college and you have 30,000 fans there and you're talking to your friends and you're getting your family to come and visit you, then okay, it might be understandable. Okay, I'll put my time in and I'll be able to play in front of 30,000 fans at the Carrier Dome or the Marriott Center or whatever. But when you're not playing, your family can't come, your fans aren't there, you can't go out and visit with your friends, so you're not getting that social, this social like bond with your friends and stuff, you might become depressed and think like, okay, I, I need to get out of here and do something else because I basketball isn't working and I can't see my friends and my family can't come, it's time for a change. All right, so my question to you guys, what do you think? If you were in one of those situations, would you transfer? obviously know my answer i transferred for other reasons if you guys want to understand why i specifically transferred let me know in the comments and i'll do a video on that thanks for watching they're making so much money off those kids